Hi guys, so we're going to do a little uh, challenging interview question. This one is more difficult than the other ones that I've been showing you how to do. I'll call this maybe a level two question where you're asked to create, write a function called chunk. Well, this is called chunked array, by the way. I'm going to explain. You're, you're asked to write a function called chunk. The function takes in an array and a number that is, um, how can I say, that is either the size of the array or that is less than the size of the array. Now, this function returns chunked array of different sizes of at least size n. Now, that might sound a little weird, but let me show you examples. That's the best way to explain this weird question. I, I saw it online and I was like, hey, this wouldn't be too bad to solve. So let's take a look at it. So giving... So let's say this is the array that you're giving. 1, 4, 12, 3, 2, 6, negative 9, and 0. There is size... Uh, the size of this array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 elements inside this array. Now, the number I'm passing with the array is 3. Your, your job is to write, an, write a function that's going to return chunked pieces of this array of at least size 3. Look at this. This one has... Uh, this one has an inside array of size 3. Then we've used those numbers already. Then the next one of size 3. But since there's only two numbers less, left and it's impossible to make uh, an, a, a chunked array of size 3, we only put together the last two. Again, the same example. Let's say n is 4. You get you return a chunked array of the first 4. Then the next four, there's no more, there are no more uh, elements left. And the final example, where n is seven, you return two chunked arrays. There is the first seven, there's one left, and that's it. So your, your job basically is to make sure that you must return different chunked array of at least size n. And then whatever is remaining, you just put it together. All right, so here's the algorithm that I put together. Uh, if you check online, there are different ways people solve this problem, but uh, I don't think some of them are right. <laughs> Let's not get into that. Okay, so the first one I want to do is, the first thing I want to do is uh, create create an, an array called um, chunk. M theory chunked. Right? Okay, let me just make this bigger a little bit. Next. Let me just stop making all these sizes the same. Okay, next. Um, let's see. Get the last element. Oh, okay, so get the last chunked get the last uh, chunked array within chunk what does that mean so I'm think I'm thinking this suppose you have suppose you have a collection of chunked arrays right I'm saying get the last one so suppose so far you have something like this it's not done you have something like this. You're not done. I'm saying get this one. Get the last one. Get this one. That's what I'm saying. Get the last one. So the last one is an array. They're all arrays. It's their arrays within an array. So I'm saying get that one. The last one. Just like this one here. Let's say you have something like this. I'm saying get the last chunk array. Get this one. Because we're, because we've already completed the first one. So we can only be working on the last one. That's why I said that. Now the next thing I'm going to say is... Um, Check if, let's call this last, by the way, the last chunk one. Let's call it last. Check if last exists. So, meaning that in the beginning of the iteration, obviously last does not exist. So, check if last exists or if the size of last equals, equals to n. 
that you choose. Now, if if I'm thinking about it, if the if it does exist, if it if if it does exist, if it does exist, then push into chunked, then push into chunked. So you're creating a new chunked array, basically. If it does exist, you're making a new one. So you're making a new version of this. You're making a new version of that. So you're making another one like that. That's what I mean, push into chunked. Else, else, push into last instead. Because because that means that the size is not it's not filled yet, and then when you're done, return chunked. Okay, four steps. <laughs> so remember that we have to do an iteration somewhere. So let's begin. So I'm gonna call this const chunks using arrow functions. Takes an array takes a variable size n. Right away, I'm, I'm gonna do a self-calling function. Those of you who don't know what a self-calling fun function, it calls itself. I'm gonna pass in one, 12, three. Now let me, let me pass in this number that, that we have already. No need to do it again. And then I'm gonna pass in the first size is three, n equals three. So I'm passing that. So I should see as a result, I should see this back right here. This is what I should get back as a result. So I'm already setting that up. All right, so the first thing is what? Let's see, what is the, what's my first requirement? Create an empty array called chunked. Let chunked, because it's gonna change throughout the code, let chunked. All right, next thing is get the last chunked array with, within Get the last chunk array within chunks. Okay, so now this the thing is that we need to repeat. You know what? Let's do this first. Let's get the last one. This could be cons because this doesn't change. This changes. Last. Now to get the last element inside of an array, obviously you need the array size. Then. Minus one because it starts the iteration starts because because the array counting starts from zero one two that's why so we have that next check if the last exists if the last exists or or if it, if um the last equals the size n last dot length equals size n. Now if this is true, what should we do? Push into chunked. Alright, so we're gonna push into chunked. We're gonna push what? Here's the question. What are we gonna push? Else we're gonna push into the last one. Now what are we gonna push? That's the here is the tricky part that throws people off. What are we pushing? And then we return chunk at the end. Okay, but to know what we're gonna push, obviously it's the elements of the array. But how do we get the elements of the array? It has to be within a loop. So let's do the loop. Not for we, we can do well, we can do a for loop. Let let elements of array and then n is element and, and then, actually no this, since we're pushing into we're, since we're pushing new arrays inside we can't it can't be the element by itself they have to be an array of of the element beautiful beautiful this is really good I'm so excited all right so let's see let's test this out this video has gone long enough, so I apologize for that. Chunks. Let's test this out. No test. 
Yes, it worked. Yay. Beautiful. So I'm so excited. So we have 1, 4, 12. 1, 4, 12. Let's see. 3, 2, 6. And then negative 9, 0. Beautiful. Let's try it again now with... Um, let's try it again with n equals 4 this time. Not 3. n equals 4. We should get, again, equally separated chunks. Yeah, and we do we do get equally separated chunks. This is beautiful. Now let's try with seven. We should get two chunks. Let's try with seven. And we do get two chunks. If we try with eight, the exact size, we would get more we will get only one chunk. Beautiful. Now we cannot pass eight because that's uh, that's the area of the element. I did say uh, n has to be the size of the area or less. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, please leave me a comment. Any other way, let me know. Thank you.